Hello everyone, welcome back to the Shop Smart channel, where we bring you detailed reviews to help you make the best buying decisions. In today's video, we're comparing three highly rated portable mini projectors, Panseba, Haproon, and Sopu. If you're looking for a portable projector to turn your room into a theater, keep watching to find out which one is best for you. Let's start with the Panseba mini projector. This projector features full HD 1080p resolution and comes with several impressive features. One of its main advantages is the integrated Bluetooth 5.1 chip, which delivers an impressive hyphy sound experience through its powerful built-in speakers. Additionally, you can connect wireless headphones or external speakers for enhanced immersion. However, it's important to note that it does not connect to smartphones via Bluetooth. The Pansaba projector is 50% brighter than similar models on the market, thanks to its 8000 watt one contrast ratio and support for 1080p resolution. This ensures clearer, more detailed images, providing a high-quality home cinema experience. The device also stands out for its low noise emission and lamp life of up to 50,000 hours, meaning it can last over 15 years with regular use. Moreover, it is compatible with a wide range of devices, including laptops, smartphones, tablets, USB drives, and consoles like Xbox. However, you'll need an additional HDMI adapter to connect smartphones. Unfortunately, due to copyright issues, it does not support apps like Netflix and Hulu, unless you use a TV stick. Now, let's talk about the Haproon Mini Projector. This model also offers native 1080p resolution and includes Bluetooth connectivity for an enhanced audio experience. With a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1, it delivers even sharper and more vibrant images than the Panseba. The brightness is suitable for dark and moderately lit environments, making it an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. One of the highlights of the Haproon is its portability. It is compact and lightweight, perfect for taking to different locations. The lamp lifespan is equally impressive, promising long-term durability. However, like the Panseba, it also does not support Bluetooth connection with smartphones for video streaming, limiting it to audio devices. Another point to note is the need for an HDMI adapter to connect smartphones and the same limitation regarding streaming copyrighted content from apps like Netflix and Hulu. Finally, let's analyze the Sopu Mini Projector. This projector stands out for its support for 4K resolution and brightness of 9000 lumens, which is significantly higher than the other two models. This ensures exceptional image quality even in brighter environments. With a contrast ratio of 3000.1, it offers vivid colors and precise details. The Sopu also features Bluetooth connectivity, allowing for an enhanced audio experience with external speakers or headphones. It is compatible with a wide range of devices, including laptops, consoles, and smartphones. But like the others, it requires an HDMI adapter for smartphone connection. The lamp lifespan is high, ensuring durability. However, similar to the previous models, it does not support direct streaming of apps like Netflix and Hulu without an additional device like a TV stick. Now that we've reviewed each projector individually, let's make a final comparison. The Panseba Mini Projector offers an excellent balance of image quality and price, making it a solid choice for those looking for overall good performance within a moderate budget. The Haprin stands out for its high contrast ratio and portability, ideal for those who want to take the projector to different locations. The Sopu offers the best image quality with 4K support and higher brightness, perfect for those who prioritize image quality and don't mind paying a bit more. In terms of connectivity and compatibility, all three projectors have similar limitations, requiring HDMI adapters for smartphone connections and additional devices for streaming copyrighted content. Your choice among these three models will depend on your specific priorities, such as budget, image quality, and portability. And there you have it. We hope this detailed analysis helps you choose the portable mini projector that best suits your needs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest reviews. Let us know in the comments which of these projectors you find most interesting and why. Until next time, 